Hi guys, uh, Tesla has corrected strongly from a, a high of $265 to a, a low of currently pre-market trading of $232. Um, I think that's a great opportunity to buy uh, because uh, yeah, that was expected to happen that, uh, like, or, or likely that there would be a correction since it went up so much from a low of $180 to basically straight to $260, uh, not straight, but this is the first bigger big correction uh, of 10% um, plus uh, higher than 10% um, so so I think it's worthwhile to pick up uh, Tesla shares if you haven't uh, done already uh, and you felt you missed an opportunity before this is a great uh, step in price I think because I think it's likely to continue to go up um, mm, on the other hand, a crypto um, is still at 10k Bitcoin. Uh, if you haven't, uh, if if you haven't uh, sold crypto, I still think uh, if you have a high exposure uh, or or, uh, or you, you're just not willing to to risk losing 80% of your uh, crypto investment, uh, uh, which I think uh, is probable. Um, uh, I mean, not not eighty percent, but like testing the low of four thousand for Bitcoin, four thousand five hundred. Uh, the, the low testing the low of three thousand two hundred, but like ten percent higher is still likely. Uh, and so, um, and so, yeah, that's a serious loss from here. So, I, 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 if you're not willing to do that, then I think still you still have an opportunity to sell. Uh, the same for uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Cash, who have uh, shown weakness on this first correction. Uh, when Bitcoin corrected from uh, the high of 13,700 to about 10,000 now Ethereum and Bitcoin Cash have corrected more, alts have corrected more so it does show that it is likely that the, they will also correct strong um, if Bitcoin tests uh, 4k so, so that's another opportunity, a selling opportunity uh, I have also found a new opportunity as uh, called at home um, ticker home H O M E on the New York Stock Exchange. It's one of those retailers uh, like IKEA uh, in Europe uh, that sell cheap furniture. Mm, but 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 all the, this whole sector has been slammed down, and uh, uh, because of the success of Amazon and online uh, retail uh, destroying uh, brick and mortar stores. But but uh, yeah, uh, uh, I agree with uh, the YouTube channel Financial Education um, that. Um, that 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 that, that not, not everything will be online uh, for example shopping for cheap furniture it's much more practical to, to go into a store where you can see the couches and, and see the painting paintings and the rugs and and, and, and it's much easier shopping than online um, uh, so so certain things indeed are just br certain brick and mortar stores have no chance They're like buying computer games or or a PlayStation indeed like you can better buy that online uh, you know perfectly what you're gonna get but that's not the case with furniture um, uh, IKEA has proven that it's a gigantic success and, 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 and will continue to be so huh? um, and, and, and the same is true in America of course uh, you also will have many uh, brick and mortar retail concepts that will continue to be successful even in a digital world huh? So 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 I, I'm very impressed with a company like At Home, uh, for example, that has is growing at 20% per year in revenue and in um, uh, profits, uh, but 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 has been slammed from a valuation of like $30 a share or so to now $5 or $6. Um, why? Uh, I mean, people are uh, seriously overreacting. I think. Um, uh, I, I have to study the numbers more in depth, but that seems like a great opportunity to me, uh, considering that I do think eh, we're in an, a multi-decade uh, bull market for stocks and, and it's good times ahead here and, and we just broke the all-time high, uh, so likely this will go a lot higher stocks and, 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 and in good times, typically actually retail does very well, uh, it's in, in, in bad times that retail is, uh, is terrible, but um, and, and of course, yeah, I, I, I think it's correct that people are traumatized. The stock markets uh, investors are still traumatized. Uh, what happened between 2000 and 2010, uh, a very bad stock market. 
but um, but of course retail uh, many retailers have gone broke due to the success of uh, Amazon uh, but but yeah I think it's uh, it's severely oversold uh, so I decided to sell actually my uh, arc G um, ETF fund um, uh, in exchange for uh, some shares of home and um, and um, I think that's a good move. I, I think uh, the genomic uh, fund is, 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 is a great fund, but um, it's an ETF um, that just went up. Uh, I mean, it's at, at its all time high valuations that all, were already reached one year ago, but that's, I don't like that. I, I prefer to some, buy something that is on sale eh, that has just gone down a lot uh, I, I prefer to buy that because the upwards potential is much better in the short term uh, mm, uh, yeah that uh, but of course in the long term uh, a retailer has much less potential than 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 for example uh, such a genomic um, uh, um, ETF fund in the long term uh, that's true um, but uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think it was a good deal, so um, I did that. Uh, well, thanks for watching, and I wish you all a great day.